everyone and welcome to our 8th grade promotion ceremony. Thank you for taking the time to join us for this very special day today. I am Mrs. Tim Brooks, the very proud principal here at West Point. I would also like to introduce our amazing assistant principal, Mrs. Mykos. Hi everybody. And as we get started, I'd like to share just a few words by author Kelly Roper. Your grade school days are over. All that's left is the ceremony before you say goodbye to your school. The memories you made here will last a lifetime. The things you've learned may not seem important now, but they are the foundation for your education and you'll build on them in high school, college, and beyond. So take one last look around and print a memory in your head. You'll want to remember this place, these people, and the experiences you've had. Um, Ms. Timbricks, that those last two lines don't seem quite right for what we're doing now. It says, take a look around at all the people. We're talking to an empty room right now. We're what missing our people. Know. We we're missing our students. We're missing our families. It's just not the same. No. I think we need to do things a little different this year. I think you're right. Do you have any ideas? I, think I have one. All right, let's do it. Welcome to West Point's eighth grade virtual promotion ceremony. I'm Mrs. Tim Brooks, the proud principal here at West Point. And I'm Mrs. Mykos, your assistant principal. To begin, please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance led by student Valentina Herms and remain standing for a special performance of the National Anthem by Olivia DeFord. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As the Arts Academy at West Point, our school is unique in that we are all part of a creative community. Our students have had the opportunity to participate in a variety of in-depth programs that have increased student motivation, relevance, and achievement. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce one of our student leaders, our student council president, Emma Ramirez. Hello, West Point Bobcats. I would like to begin by acknowledging the people who made this day possible. Our parents, family, and friends, but most importantly, our teachers and staff here at West Point Elementary School. I'd like to say thank you to each and every one of you guys for being with us since day one and supporting us in our education. The class of 2024 would not be here without you guys today. I don't only really speak for myself when I say this, but this year has truly been one of the best years so far. Unfortunately, our year together got cut short, but in the time we were given, we were able to manage putting together several amazing performances from cheer, theater, band and orchestra, choir, keyboarding, dance, and to put the cherry on top, our boys basketball team, girls volleyball team, girls softball team, and boys baseball team all made it to playoffs. Being the last of four Ramirez's to achieve the title Wildcat for Life, leaving West Point is going to be hard, but not only for me, for my family. Being able to witness West Point grow and develop into not only an a school, but a place where you're able to express yourself in the classroom, on stage, and on the field has been an experience I wouldn't change for the world. I'm proud to be a Wildcat, and I'm sure my class is too. As the year comes to an end and we begin to enter high school, we're just beginning a new chapter, but with a bigger picture. 
As the next four years come, we'll be discovering ourselves, finding new interests, making new friends, maybe even leaving some behind. But most importantly, planning our future. I wish all of the class of 2024 the best, and I would like to end by sharing this quote by Tom Cook. For some of the most important decisions in your life, trust your intuition, and then work with everything you've got to prove it right. Sincerely, your class president, Emma Ramirez. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. George, our plant manager and amazing coach, who will be presenting our Wildcats for Life Awards. Hello Wildcats, it's uh, my pleasure to introduce the Wildcats for Life, and those are the students that have been here since kindergarten all the way through eighth grade. We are real, real proud of you. Um, this is kind of weird because it's an empty setting and I, I wish I could congratulate you in person, but this will have to do for now. Uh, big congratulations to uh, Seth Boone, Nathaniel Casio, Ryan Deal, Treasure Graves, Isaiah Hoover, Corey Miller, Alexia Molina, Kian Moore. Tyler Ross, Amaya Rochelle, Emma Ramirez Points, Lily Smith, Aubrey Thomas, Marcos Viasana, Abby Wheatcraft, and Angelina Yosef. Big congrats to you guys for making it all the way through the eighth grade. Um, Keep it up, continue on your journey, and let's give a big shout out to Miss, the original Wildcat of West Point, who is Miss Heidi from the cafeteria. Thank you, God bless. You know, Miss Michaels, at West Point, we truly do have the best teachers. Oh, absolutely. Let's take a moment to introduce them to everybody. Awesome. And now we'd like to introduce our social studies teacher, Miss Allen. Hi guys. I want to congratulate you on this promotion into high school. You have worked hard during this year to learn material, learn skills, and just prepare yourself for this moment, okay? You have worked really hard, especially with the changes and the craziness that 2020 has brought us. All right, as a social studies teacher, I ask you to keep these moments in mind. You are living through a huge period of history. All right, remember how you're feeling. Write it down. Use this experience to become stronger and better, both people and students and learners. And we will move forward from here and be better together. Okay, I wish you luck in high school. And I know you're all fully capable of doing great things in high school and beyond. Please feel free to always reach out, come back, come say hi. I have loved having you guys in my classroom and we're learning and working together. Have a great time, guys. Congratulations once again. I'll see you sometime soon, all right? Bye, eighth grade. And now we'd like to introduce Ms. Ferullo, our amazing math teacher. Hi, West Point eighth grade. I am so, so proud of you for getting through this crazy, crazy year and moving on to high school. I'm so excited for all the stuff that you're going to encounter as you go into high school and beyond. Um, and I'm so proud of everything you've done up to this point. I've been sitting in my, my empty classroom today trying to figure out what to say to you guys. And I just don't have the words, so I'm going to borrow some words from... Dr. Seuss, and I'm, so I'm gonna read. <laughs> Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the one who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look them over with care, about some you'll say, I don't wish to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down a not so good street. And you may not find any you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. 
Out there, things happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsy as you. And when things starts to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll be happening too. So again, I just want you to know how very, very proud I am of you and how excited I am for you for high school and beyond, whether that's college or trade school or military or whatever. You have the whole world in front of you right now. You have thousands of open doors that you can go through. Um, so just work hard, but most importantly, be kind. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Ms. Timbrooks, it's fitting that we're in the science lab as we introduce Mr. Del Siapo, our amazing eighth grade science teacher. Hey West Point Wildcats, it's Mr. Del Siapo. I just wanted to say thank you for an awesome year. You made my first year at West Point something special. Um, just so you know, you guys are something special. You're possibly the best eighth grade class I've ever taught. Um, I wish you the best. Good luck being ninth graders next year. Just do your best. Remember, if life knocks you down, get up and keep pushing forward. I believe in you. Good luck. Look who we found, Miss Tim Brooks. It's Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown is our amazing ELA 8th grade teacher. To the 8th grade class of 2020, congratulations 8th grade, you did it. You have achieved your goal. But remember, education is not a destination, it's a journey. So as you take your incredible talents into the world, always remember to believe in yourself because you are responsible for your success. And despite the platitudinous nature of these platitudes, be inspired, because if you dream it, you can achieve it. Platitudinous platitudes? Who does this guy think he is? An English teacher or something? Congratulations, eighth grade. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys are awesome. And I am so proud of each of you. It was a great year. Honestly, you made it one of my best years as a teacher. There are so many incredible memories from this past year. From Thomas the Tank Engine, to various Barbie doll appendages. From one student's crazy karate skills, to the headless bear, from the amazing artwork submissions, to whatever it is you guys think I'm hiding in the cabinet to one student's infatuation with the salt lamp. And of course, who can ever forget Lil Brownie and his incredible rap skills. It has been a memorable year. And yes, there were some challenges. Our final quarter was unconventional and unprecedented. However, I was so impressed by the hard work and commitment to excellence that each of you displayed. So, always remember, whether you're flying high or when you feel like the walls are closing in around you, just put your hands in the air and enjoy the ride. Because you are awesome. Your futures are bright. You could be a talented musician. You might be a masterful chef an investment banker, or a nerdy English teacher, a writer. You might be a rapper, a dentist, a veterinarian, or an epic Fortnite gamer. Regardless of the path you choose, if you work hard, I know you can achieve success. So wherever the road of life takes you, Pedal hard, enjoy the ride, and don't forget to wear a helmet. And now we'd like to introduce Mrs. Johns, our structured classroom teacher. Congratulations, West Point 8th grade class. To my 8th grader, I am so proud of you, and to all the 8th graders, I wish you all great success in high school. At West Point, we are inspiring unique learners and leaders. And this wouldn't be possible without the amazing team of special area teachers. 
Miss Perez for I Explore, Miss Desai, our art teacher, Coach Gates for PE, Mr. Swanson, Band and Orchestra, Miss Cruz for Dance, and Miss Truett, Music. Hello to all the eighth graders. It has been an amazing year here in I Explore from learning financial literacy to choosing a essential career path. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in high school and remember to always give it all you got. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Stay happy and healthy and strong. Always keep the art alive in your heart and good luck for everything. Thank you. Hey West Point, this is Coach Yates. I want to say congratulations to all the eighth graders and thank you for welcoming me with open arms. Um, I know you're going to do great things in high school and best of luck to you. This is Mr. Swanson and I want to congratulate all of the West Point eighth graders. The West Point band and orchestra were sounding better than ever before our spring break. To all of my band and orchestra students, you have given me great memories from this year. I encourage all of you to keep going with the talents and skills that you have gained from playing an instrument. These talents and skills have given you opportunities that many people have never experienced. This makes you unique, intelligent, and important. As you are entering high school, I would like all the eighth graders to start or continue to think about their future. This is the time to use your current talents and interests to become as great as you can at them. Take these next four years to improve, work hard, and prepare for whatever career path you take. For those of you that don't know what you want in your future, work hard at everything you do until you find out what you're really good at. All of your teachers this year want you to succeed in high school, in your future careers, and in life. We hope that we have given you experiences that will help you achieve your goals and that you will remember. You are all important and will impact many others in your life. Stay focused, be kind to others, follow your dreams, and be the best person that you can be. Have a great summer, and I wish you all the best. Congrats, eighth graders. I'm very, very proud of all of you um, for going to high school. Uh, this is Miss Cruz. Um, I wish you all a great time, and I know you're all going to do amazing, whatever you decide to do. Um, to all my dancers, I appreciate all of your hard work, all of your progress, all of your growth that um, you know you decided to share with me and I felt very lucky to be your teacher. Um, sadly we are both moving on. I won't be there next year at West Point and you will be moving on to high school whether it's Valley or somewhere else um, in Arizona. So I am very proud of you all and please 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 keep in touch. I would love to see um, what you guys do in high school. So again, congrats, you did it. West Point eighth graders, let me begin by saying congratulations on being promoted to high school. I have known some of you for quite a few years now and others more recently. I will miss you all. My hope and advice for you is that you include music in some form or fashion as you continue on life's journey. Music, whether listening to or singing along, has been shown to reduce the stress hormone cortisol and release the feel-good neurotransmitter dopamine. Simply put, music lowers your stress and makes you feel better, something that everyone can benefit from. Music also provides a creative outlet, something that helps us humans become more human and whole. I wish you all the best, and remember, music can enhance the quality of your life. Congratulations, eighth graders. Students, today is your day. A day to celebrate, a day to reflect, a day to enjoy, and a day to look forward to the future ahead.
we know that this is a special time for you as well. So I would like to share a special poem just for you. It's by Kelly Roper. As we celebrate this milestone, remember it's your time to celebrate. Your child couldn't have reached this point without a lot of help from you. Think about all the lunches packed and the permission slips you've signed. When your child didn't feel like going to school, remember how you listened and never did you mind. And don't forget all the homework and the projects you did together. Think of all the events you attended, regardless of the weather. You purchased supplies and brand new clothes every single year. You kept your end of the bargain, and now eighth grade promotion is here. Students, your eighth grade graduation is here. It's the day you've waited for all year. So hold your head high and try not to cry. Take a breath and get ready to cheer. In closing, I'd like to share a special poem by an unknown author. Faces of old and faces of new. People we know and people we knew. Growing together, then drifting apart. Always an ending and now a new start. At promotion time, we all grow nearer. And all our friends seem so much dearer. And as we say our final goodbye, one last embrace and one more cry, a keep in touch and a promise I will, a remember when, but better still, a place in my heart you'll always stay. That is what is said as we go our own way. Do not fear the future, for you are the future, because of what you have achieved and what you will achieve. Congratulations, Wildcats. We are so proud of each and every one of you, and we know you will continue to accomplish great things as you move into the next chapter of your life. We look forward to seeing everyone tonight at 6 o'clock for our 8th grade car parade in the front parking lot loop. We want to thank you all for taking time to join us tonight for this special celebration. It is now my privilege to introduce to you the West Point Wildcat Class of 2020 and the high school graduating class of 2024. <laughs>